Our first step is to pinpoint where we find relative equal highs and lows and understand the concept of draw on liquidity. And we have new week opening gap. Here we had short term high after 830. And before that market took the sell side liquidity and displaced taking out short term high here and here and went to the fair value gap. Our job is to understand how prices booked between old high, old low and inefficiencies. We have a down close candle after taking sell side and then we have displacement here. Displacement is basically sudden price move in opposite direction of short term trend, which is bearish. This high was traded through and came back to down close candle, which is order block. The reason this is good order block, because it formed after 830. At sensitive time, algorithm will look for highs and low or inefficiency. We will be using only three time frames in order to mark up our charts with highs and lows with PD arrays. 15 minute, five and one minute. Look at this high on 15 minute. This is the same high we marked on one minute earlier. This is important because it formed a key time, 7 a.m. Time is the most important element to make any areas valuable. Price took out short term high. Then where will it be reaching now? We have another inefficiency here. And in our journaling purpose, ICT advised to look for how many candles it take to reach there. It took six candles from the volume imbalance. Things to look for in relative equal highs where price will be drawn. They should be in close proximity and price should be flat there. If on the other side, price has jagged price action. It tells us that price will move from jagged area to flat areas. Why we should trust the price will take these relative equal swing high. When we have two swing highs and left hand side swing high is higher than another one. This is the high probability swing high, which will be taken out. I cannot stress this point enough. This is absolute gem. And this should go into your notes. The same thing is happening here. We have this high here, slightly lower than the right one. So when the market went like this drop down, this caused sympathetic sigh. Anyone who's sure there, they feel like they almost were stopped out and feel good now because there they will put the stop loss. But it's buy side liquidity and, and price will rip through that. A lot of new SMC trader will short this and get punished. So in New York morning session, you should mark up the smooth highs and lows on 15 minute, five minute and one minute. Price does not go from A to B in linear way. If price has to go up, it will go down to some efficiency and PD array. Now price has made new relative equal highs. And if you have not traded yet, then look for retracement for new entry. We are on right side of price delivery. Price will respect the PD arrays and rip through those PD arrays, which are on another side. If your PD array fails, then you are trading against the order flow. Let's learn this from one example. We have relative equal lows here and then market drops. This drops down here, right? And every up close candle from on this time frame, right there is your breaker and the most sensitive area of this breaker will the last up close candle. See how the bodies close above that up close candle. This is the signature of bullish order flow. All these three up close candle makes the bullish breaker and most reaction can be expect from the top of the candle. Look inside the price of breaker. All the bodies of the candles closed above the breaker. This is the important signal and gives us narrative that we are in buy program. See how the price is reacting to the FVG multiple time bodies of the candle went inside and touched upper side of it. This signals price is still bullish and wants to go up. Remember price has to come down to go up. We have liquidity on swing low. This back and forth price action makes this range balance. Price has no reason to go down there. And, and we have breaker below that sure, which makes perfect scenario for entry now. Time is also on our side. Look at the reaction of price we got from the breaker. We should expect this. If we are on right side of the market, isn't this great? Price moved from 515 to 596 in a matter of two minutes. This is what happens, man. When you know how to read the markets properly. Trust me, ICT is real thing. Just give enough time and you will be amazed. We can see that we have created again high and lower high high and this one lower and all three of them in very close proximity. Does this make them high probability? Yes, because price made them before 930. Time matters a lot. I cannot insist enough. Without right time, they will not be of any use. At 930, price went to bullish breaker. Now price will move from internal range liquidity, which is breaker to external range liquidity, which is this relative equal high and those sitting above right. The most important factor of trading is knowing where are the stop loss of other trader are located. Initially, price was bearish. Those who are holding their position will place their stop above the relative equal highs. 
Retails thinks double top is resistance level and algorithm will punish them. So look at this price action now. We had low. Price took the sell side liquidity and make this area jagged. Remember this term jagged? Jagged, I love this term. So on one side, we will having real smooth price action area. And on another side, we will be having jagged price action. Price will move from jagged PA to cleaner, more smooth PA. If you are wondering why did ICT choose these as a final target for draw on liquidity, if you said swing high and lower, swing high to the right, then it's just 50% of answer. The main reason to choose this high, because it formed at 7 a.m. and New York morning session starts with 7 a.m. This is the key time and you should mark the horizontal line. On 7 a.m., if you trade Forex or futures, it does not matter. New York session starts at 7 a.m. We will start with our analysis by using 15 minute, five minute and one minute charts. We will look for smooth highs and lows between 7 o'clock to 7.30, then 8 o'clock to 8.30 and, and 9 o'clock to 9.30. We can refer to 15 minute once and then our main time frame will be five minute and one minute. So in the New York morning session from, from 7 a.m. to 11 a.m., we have four opportunities. Divide every session with horizontal lines and look for those smooth swing highs and lows. So now imagine you have marked the smooth areas on the chart, but they exist on both the sides. Then what shall we do? Then we will wait for one area to be disrupted, and then you have your bias on the other side of disruption. Don't trade into those levels where sharks already have a frenzy, and that's down here. They have already been done here. There has been attack down here, and the way price has been delivered from here, make the price jagged like the teeth of sharks. And we don't have that jaggedness up here. It is nice and smooth. This is why this is our main draw on liquidity. Over the time your eyes will be trained, look at here, CB becomes inversion fair value gap, which sends the price higher and it retraces back. And then we have our second leg reaccumulation. Algorithm pushes the price through smooth swing highs and this completes market maker buy model. Did you see this coming? I don't think so. So our trading framework starts from seven o'clock and after that look for swing highs and low to form. Not before seven o'clock. Don't use price action before seven o'clock. Use after 7 a.m. price action. I cannot insist this more. I have attached the link for full ICT video. Please like the video and subscribe to channel and share your feedback about the video. This will help me make better content. I will be uploading episode two soon.